Hello everyone, Andrew here again. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about vitamin C therapy and how to do it in an optimum way to help your body to, to, for maximum benefits. I will apologize in advance if you hear a young child in the background. My daughter, my little toddler daughter is running a here today, so we may have a bit of extra background noise. Anyway, today I'm going to be reading a lot from paperwork here which is a handout that I give to people in my in my clinic I just I want to keep referring back to it to make sure I don't miss something anyway as far for vitamin C therapy um, vitamin C it supports the body in numerous different ways it's uh, very important in the Krebs cycle or the energy cycle in the body so if you have a lack of it you you're not going to have as much energy as you should otherwise have very important if you happen to be recovering from cancer you need as much energy as you possibly can it is of course also um great in this instance what i'm going to be i'm going to be touching on a little bit is how you can use it to cleanse the digestive tract um it clears out bacteria clears out viruses um it helps in collagen production in the body uh multi multiple uses that it has and the thing with vitamin c is that human body um cannot generate its own vitamin c most animals can humans cannot so we need to be getting optimum amounts of vitamin c every day and particularly if you're covering recovering from a serious illness like sort of cancer you will need to consider supplementing and so if i can have a quick talk about how we would go about doing that to, to optimum levels that would be great um, obviously, if you were looking at it for cancer, they do do IV vitamin C. You need to talk to a doctor about that. Otherwise, you need to be looking at ways to maximise the amount of vitamin C that you get into your body. So, vitamin C and a, and a building up to bowel tolerance is what I would like to talk about in this video. So, the vitamin C, the form of vitamin C that you need to use here is ascorbic acid. Um, it's more absorbable than the other forms of vitamin C, a little bit harsher on the stomach, but it is more absorbable. So you need to be um, sourcing your ascorbic acid in pills or powdered form, whatever works for you. So that's, that's the vitamin C that we're talking about as we talk about vitamin C here. Now you need to understand the high dose vitamin C doesn't deplete the body of minerals, but it it encourages the body to utilize the minerals that it has. So you may end up with a mineral deficiency. So it's also recommended that you supplement with a full spectrum uh, mineral supplement, preferably colloidal minerals, because your body absorbs them a little bit easier as well. Now, bowel tolerance and a vitamin C flush. This, th to do this correctly, you need to build up to getting to a bowel tolerance level. A bowel tolerance and a vitamin C flush are two different things. I'll, I'll talk about the, the vitamin C flush in another video because it is very healthful and helpful. But with bowel tolerance, what you need to be doing is taking the maximum amount of vitamin C to build to a point where you almost uh, give yourself a bowel flush or diarrhea, but not quite. So you need to build up until you've got a lot of tummy rumbling and, and gas, etc. And and then maintain at that level for a period of time. Uh, so it's uh, it's quite likely, it's, it's suggested by a lot of studies, that a vitamin C flush is actually superior to a colonic, and that's why I will cover that in another video. Um, okay, so how to get started with vitamin C. Now, what we're talking about here is a suggested schedule only because every body, literally every body, is different. Um, so I'm going to look about how look at how you can fine tune your ramping up to achieve your optimum level of um, bowel tolerance. And everyone will be different, and it will change over time as you continue with this protocol. Your body will react differently, and you'll find it will take less vitamin C to get you to bowel tolerance. So first of all, uh, you need to acquire your high quality, quality ascorbic acid. It can be capsules, tablets, or powdered form. If it's in powdered form um, and it's high quality, around about a quarter of a teaspoon of pure powder equals a thousand micrograms. And a thousand micrograms are what we'll be using here, or um, and micrograms in, in general for uh, this conversation. 
So there's nothing wrong with using capsules or tablets or whatever, but the pure, pure powder has less fillers in it, so that's why it's kind of recommended. Okay, so that's that's um, the, the vitamin C that you need. Now on day days one to t one through to day three, so three three days, take a thousand micrograms every four hours. So you get in four thousand micrograms on your first day, and your second day, and your third day. Now, for some people, you may never need to exceed this. This may give you your 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 tummy rumbling, etc. You may need, may not need to go above this, and some people may even find that it's too much and it, it produces a bowel flush. If, however, it hasn't reached that that um, tummy rumbling level, you go to the next step, which is from day four to seven, take two thousand micrograms of vitamin C every four hours, so you get eight thousand micrograms for the day. Then days 8 to 11, take 3,000 micrograms every four hours, so you get in 12,000 micrograms for the day. And day 12 to 14, you take 4,000 micrograms every four hours, and uh, which means you get 16,000 micrograms uh, in for the day. So the goal of the, the ramp up is to find your bowel tolerance. Uh, this is the dose where you feel the gas and the rumbling and that gives you the maximum point at which your body can absorb oral vitamin C. It's a gentle and it's a simple way to get started with vitamin C um, and it gets the highest levels possible into your blood moving around your body. Um, it's a powerful destox strategy in its, in its own right and it's helpful for the body um, on every level. So you need to, you can, once you reach or find what your bowel tolerance levels are, you you should be looking at, uh, if you've got a major illness, i.e. cancer, you should be looking at maintaining just below that bowel tolerance level for an extended period of time. It's, uh, there, there's no studies uh, that I'm aware of anywhere that shows that you can overdose on vitamin C. It is one of the safest vitamins you can possibly take. So that's how you achieve um, or find the, your maximum um, amount of um, vitamin C your body can uh, handle and gives you your, your maximum amount of absorption with straight vitamin C. We do need to have another discussion about liposomal vitamin C, which is uh, different again. Uh, so I might do a video on that as well. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the share button, send it out to other people who you think may benefit from understanding how vitamin C protocol can work to maximize your absorptions. And I will be putting up soon another video which talks talks you through how to do a bowel flush with using vitamin C. Talk to you soon.